Billy Van is going to write a little program of his own. Hey, I see. Congratulations. You have written your first computer program. Do you mean to tell me that this first line is a complete program? Yes. Now, it's probably the world's shortest program, but it is a complete program. Well, you have to admit, not too bad for a beginner. We'll see how the central processing unit works. Inside the office is a very literal-minded clerk. He is called Central Processing Unit, or CPU for short. Some instructions like this. CPU will put straight into his RAM box and then go away and mark time until you give him the command, run. CPU will then return to the RAM box and read the first instruction which tells him to print something. CPU promptly nips across to his ROM box and looks up how to print. Then he prints something and gives it to you at the output hatch. We'll watch some young programmers in action. Those little people right there are fleeing citizens. He can eat those. You're heading east. This is atomized. We'll send a computer to the store to buy some milk. But if you had to get a computer to run errands for you, it would be a different story. Unlike the little boy, it wouldn't know where to find milk. So, first of all, you'd have to tell it to go to the nearest corner store. But, of course, it wouldn't know what to do when it got there. So then you'd have to tell it to look for the milk in order to be able to answer the question, is there any milk in the store? But even if the answer were yes, the computer still wouldn't know what to do next. You would have to tell it to buy some of this milk and bring it home. And we'll find out what the two basic programming operations are. This is the first basic operation performed by a computer program, repetition. And here is the second basic operation performed by a computer program, yes, no decision. The inner workings of all computer programs however complicated they may appear on the surface, are all variations on these two basic themes. Repetition and decision. Until then, I'm Luba Goy for Bits and Bytes. And I'm Billy Van. Bye for now. <laughs>